Lisa Renee and here on this channel you'll find all types of content ranging from plus size fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and vlogs. So if that is videos that you like to watch make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and follow me on all of my social media platforms so that you can keep up with me in my day to day. So it is the first of the month and for those of you that follow me on TikTok, Instagram, you know what the first of the month means. We are going to go ahead and do our first of the month skincare routine, which includes shaving my face, giving myself a little bit of facial and putting on some nice serum. So if that is a video that you would like to watch, make sure you go ahead and stay tuned. So starting off on my routine, I always go in and just examine my face, see if there's any blemishes or any, you know, areas that I definitely want to tend to. And for me right now, I do have a couple of pimples and some dark marks. Part of it is from the way I've been eating when I was on vacation. And the other part is from, it is almost that time of the month. So now that I have examined my skin, I'm gonna go ahead and cleanse my face. The cleanser we are gonna use is the Dermalogica Active Clearing Wash. told me a long time ago how important shaving your face is I would have started a while back you will not believe how much peach fuzz and dead skin actually is sitting on your face and when you shave your face all of that is revealed and it is actually quite scary <laughs> but I will say the new skin that is underneath all of that is simply amazing it is so vibrant and might I add shaving can help reduce the appearance of dark marks and the hyperpigmentation that blemishes leave on your skin Shaving this section of my face is always so satisfying because my sideburns grow so long that sometimes it starts to connect to like the back of my ear and to the back of the nape area of my neck and y'all it is a lot. So just to see all of that hair just coming down and being shaven away is just so satisfying to me. When it comes to the mustache area, I like to go in both directions, down and up, just to make sure I am really getting all the hair from above my lip. Now it is time for me to clean up my brows. My eyebrows are professionally done. I got a combo, which is microblade and shading, but I obviously still grow hair underneath where the shading is. So what I do is I just take the razor and I just make sure all of the unwanted hair is taken off, but I also do this super gentle and make sure that I'm careful to not get any of the hairs that I want to remain on my face. Here's all the hair and the dead skin that I took off of my face. And yes, I am cleansing my skin for the third time, but you know, we just shaved and got all of that dead skin and peach fuzz off. So we wanna make sure that the skin that we just revealed is nice and clean as well. There is a part of the face that a lot of people tend to neglect and it shows, it is the lips. Lips are very important to me. I try to make sure mine is like extra soft and extra plump. And for me, the way I achieve nice, soft, plumped looking lips is I exfoliate them. I have this lip exfoliator that I purchased from Target. It is double sided and it is silicone. So it's great for not harboring bacteria. And all I do is I wet it and then I go ahead and apply some of my Dermalogica daily exfoliant on the brush and then I just scrub my lips. 
Once the exfoliation is done, I go ahead and turn the brush over to massage my lips and make sure I have the blood flowing and that is what gives me my nice plump lips. So now that we are done cleansing our face, we are going to go ahead and use a toner. My toner that I am currently loving right now is from Laneige. It is the Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer 2-in-1 Formula. Now, I will say that was very surprising to me when they said it can be a toner and a moisturizer. But honestly, it is a very moisturizing product. I just don't use it as both. I use it as a toner. But it's nice to feel moisturized after, you know, rinsing your face and cleansing it twice. just blotting my skin with it as I've said before my skin is sensitive but anytime you shave your face you always want to be nice and gentle with your skin because you did just shave it so always just blot and never rub now for my favorite part FaceTime and face steam today I am going to use Dr. Jart face mask this is the face mask that I am going to put on for today it is a facial barrier mask it says moisture bearing strengthening facial sheet mask so I'm going to go ahead and put that face mask on and as you see the steam is already going so I'm just going to go ahead and let the steam penetrate my face while I have the face mask on I don't know what Dr. Jart put in his face mask, but you guys, every single one that I've used so far has just been amazing. Having the steamer going on your face while you have a face mask on of any kind is 1000% pure luxury <laughs> the feeling is unmatched and the way your skin just absorbs the product from the face mask is truly unbelievable and just look at that skin absolutely stunning and glowing the face mask is now off and we still have all of the good nutrients from that face mask so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my jade ruler and just further help my skin absorb it by pushing in the product more skincare is super important to me because there is definitely two parts of the body that will show your age and one are your hands and the other are your under eyes so I'm going to show you the two under eye creams that I use to help with dark circles, wrinkles, and bags. My first one is from Good Molecules. This is the Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel. You guys, I think this was less than $10 and she is absolutely amazing. The second eye cream that I am obsessed with is from You To The People. This is the Dream Eye Cream and you guys, she might be little but she is mighty, okay? Talking about your eyes are just so glowy, so filled and like so amazing the next morning when you wake up, love her and this is what we're going to use today. So I found this little gadget here from Sephora and it is a eye cream applicator. Love it and you can also take the ball apart for better cleaning and that is always important. So what I do so that I don't have to put my hands into the eye cream, I just take the back of this, make sure it is wiped off and clean, dip it in, smear it underneath and use the ball to roll it out. keep us looking youthful we want to make sure the rest of our skin keeps us looking youthful as well so I'm gonna go in with the kills midnight recovery serum I've been using this for a little bit now and hands down such a great serum if you have nothing else in your skincare routine you definitely need to have this serum is nice and distributed throughout our skin so it's time for moisturizer 
moisturizer that I'm going to use tonight is the Youth to the People Superfood Cream Moisturizer. Absolutely love this. It is so hydrating and your skin is so vibrant when you wake up in the morning. I don't know what kind of superfood they have in this, but whatever it is, they need to keep putting it in there. Share the video and follow me on all of my social media accounts and I will see you guys in the next video. Good night guys.